Welcome back everyone to uh, part two of our video about decorating the reverse side of acetate sheet for use in our junk journals. Uh, just as a quick recap, uh, these are some of the original ones that I did while sort of experimenting with the technique. Uh, we have ones there with a, a copper background and again it was stenciled first then the decoupage was put on uh, and then it was backed with copper uh, and on that one I've also backed it with some cream so you can turn it into a journaling card if you wanted. Obviously you don't have to do it this size, I just did it this so you could see the technique easier than if I was just doing a small tiny piece. Uh, and there's another one of the same ilk with a steam train. Again, stenciled first, decoupage second and copper sponged over the back. Well, it's actually copper with some brushed steel. Um, you can probably see that slightly better there. Just so it's not an even copper surface, it's just a nice dappled one with some brushed steel. Uh, yesterday we uh, looked at the hydrangea, again with white stenciling, purple, uh, and then silver on the back. That one hasn't had any card on the back, as you can see it's still quite transparent, uh, which is a very nice effect. Again, that was stenciled first, then decoupaged, then the purple paint, and then the silver on last. And we replicated that uh, live on the video with the that version. Uh, as you can see, it's, we did it in, in blue rather than purple, uh, but effectively the same. Uh, and what we did was, uh, did some stenciling, but this time in the black. Uh, we printed out that image on rice paper. We coloured it in using alcohol markers, then decoupaged it on. Then we added the blue uh, to sort of go with it. Uh, and then again coated in silver and as you can see it isn't backed so it's still fairly transparent which makes it very nice because it takes on uh, the colour of whatever you want to put behind it. Obviously you could back that in cream or white card and turn it into a journaling card or you could use it as a front cover or just a very nice piece in the journal. Uh, again it's quite large just so you could see the technique. You could make everything from a small little tag that you want to put a dangle up to a 4x6 journaling card it's entirely up to you this is on construction weight acetate which is 400 microns uh, it would work probably work with thinner it's just easier when you demonstrate to use something that's slightly thicker uh, during yesterday's live we also had an experimentation uh, one that we'd never done before and we started to produce a one with a slightly darker theme shall we say um, and what we did was, first of all, we put the images onto the back so we knew where they were going to go, and we applied some size uh, and then added some gold leaf uh, to it. Then decoupaged the images over where the gold leaf was. Uh, it's reasonably effective. I mean, on reflection, because uh, it's shiny, no, but on reflection, what I would probably have done is either use something like gold sharpies decoupage it on and then put the gold through from the back or I may have used the scalpel uh, decoupage it on then use a scalpel to remove some of the bits so that you could actually see the the original lines that were on the skulls and the crown um, I think that would look slightly more effective I don't dislike that but uh, I may do it a slightly different way if, if I was to do it again now when we left it what we'd also done was we'd done the gold leaf, decoupaged on the images and then what we did is we put around it you probably maybe just able to see we put all the way around it we put some crackle glaze uh, to see what would happen now as you can see there in certain areas it sort of beaded away uh, which is fine that just means it'll be a slightly thicker crackle in other areas uh, because we want a fairly random effect anyway uh, we didn't have time yesterday to let that dry it's now fully dried overnight, so what we're now going to do is apply black paint all over it and see what happens. And hopefully it would crackle. That would be the ideal. Uh, I'll take the light board out and bring a glass board in, I think. 
just in case we don't want to get black paint on the light board which you don't need it just makes it easier when I'm showing you uh, to put a bit of light behind and then you can see how how the, the paint's been sponged on uh, I'll put that behind uh, and we're just going to put black paint over with a sponge uh, in a fairly thickish layer because we want it to see whether that crackle glaze actually crackles or it doesn't if it doesn't it's not the end of the world there's something else we could do I'm sure and we'll think about that on the fly once this is put on now as I say I want it relatively thick um, but I'm also going to sponge the black over where the images are um, but perhaps not quite as thick but I do want it to be sort of black behind um, but like these other ones when you can see through and there's areas that it isn't isn't that's great because that's kind of what I want to happen because we're going to put another layer of paint or two on the back of the black and hopefully that will show through some of the areas and particularly if it's crackled where the cracks are that's the theory so I'm going to get a little saucer put some black paint down uh, this is just Art Deco, it's just an acrylic paint. It's a soft black, so it's not a full-on black. It's black with, a, I think, a slight tint of purple about it, um, but it's not quite as harsh as it would if it was just pure black. Uh, and I think it just looks nicer on occasion to use that. I'll need a fair bit because uh, we've got to cover all of it and we don't want to be taking time out to come back to get some more paint out. Uh, I'm just going to use a bit of man-made sponge just a bit of bath sponge cut up it's got some nice areas with holes and stuff uh, but when we load that with paint and put it over it should give us a nice finish and hopefully it will crack if it doesn't I'm not worried we'll find a way around so I'm gonna load that up quite a lot and then just go for it just go 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 uh, and as always with crackle glaze what you don't want to do is overwork it if you go back over too much it prevents the crackle from working because it sort of kind of starts to work and then you sort of dab it out see I put nowhere near enough paint down uh, get some more paint bleep, 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 bleep. again we're putting all over that image as well we're not bothered about covering it up because hopefully there'll be areas and gaps even though it looks like it's fairly well covered I'm pretty sure that when we look at it under the light we'll see that there are voids uh, and hopefully 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 there might even be a bit of crackling um, but they may not I've never done it on acetate I don't know that's why it's a good experiment we're all about to see I, th I think that'll do uh, for that. Uh, get the paint off Mrs. 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 Peas, Miss Peas, uh, Katana, because I don't want to see me using that to hold something down. Uh, and there we go. Now I can't actually see any crackling going on there at the minute. We'll stick some heat on it and see what happens. And if it doesn't, as I say, I'm not particularly worried because I'm sure there's other ways we can uh, remove a bit of the black. never done it on acetate so I'm totally totally in the dark because uh, we're using black I'm not immediately seeing any cracking going on which is somewhat disappointing but, oh yeah no look I can see it now you may not be able to see it on there but I can definitely see some crackler not quite as much as I would have liked um, but, but it is definitely going it is definitely going I can see cracks appearing all oh, yeah can you see that now you must be able to see that now coming through uh, obviously this isn't particularly resistant acetate even though it is quite thick so I can't eat it forever um, so what we'll do is I should pick that up, bring my light board back, and 
and we'll see whether you can see the cracking going on. Oh yes, you can see the cracking going on. Uh, obviously the big void in the middle is where the decoupage is. Um, so now, when that's fully dry, it's probably not fully dry. Uh, when we turn that over, look at that. Is that not what I was hoping for? Oh yes it is. Uh, and even though we've put quite a lot of black over that decoupage, as you can see from the front, it's still showing through as 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 the image. I mean, it's not blanked it out. The paint hasn't soaked in because the decoupage medium sort of prevented it soaking into the paper too much. So what we're going to do now is just pause that for a while, let that fully dry, uh, and then we'll see what we can do make of those cracks, which I am so pleased with. Join me again soon. It'll be a second or two in your life and probably half an hour in mine. See you soon. Welcome back. That wasn't very long, was it? Right, let's have a look at this. I've got a good time to dry um, because I'm going to be putting another paint over the top so I don't want it to be damp and fill in the cracks. So let's see what we've, we've got with the cracker lure. Ooh, look at that. That's the back side. Look at that. I couldn't tell you how pleased I am with that. That is, well, I'll say it, it's phenomenal. There we go. And look, there's the front side. Look at that. That's very dark, gothic, fantasy type figure, isn't it? N not the usual Miss P, flowery, fluffy, sweet bunny type thing. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm not saying there is. Let's pop the light on and we can see. Look, let's bring that up. Look. Look at that. I can't tell you how pleased I am. It's made me day, as they say. Right, so what we're going to do now is, is I think this is very reminiscent of, uh, well, for the nerds out there, Mordor. <laughs> very Lord of the Rings-esque. So what we're going to do is turn the, in the background into some sort of volcano lava typeness uh, and hopefully as well as all the cracks hopefully we'll see some of it coming through in other within the blacks because it's not a solid if you look really closely there's bits in the black uh, where there is voids and gaps that's the old beauty of sponging um, so not only will the cracks get some color hopefully there'll be some coming through uh, just a point to note, as I pointed out before, that even where the, the crackle medium had um, beaded, had pulled away, it still cracked. There was still sufficient there to get cracks, uh, smaller cracks, uh, and obviously where it was thicker, there was bigger cracks. But the overall effect, I think, is is beyond my wildest expectations. So let's take the light box away. Bring that bit of paper in to keep the board a bit cleaner. And then we'll decide what we're going to do. Now obviously if we're going for sort of a volcano, lava, melted rock type thing. I think a combination of red and yellow. Um, and we're going to sort of put those on the plate. We're going to put them both on the sponge and then sponge. And where they mix and we overlap some red and yellow, we should also get orange. So hopefully we're going to have sort of a three colour effect go on with just the two colours. That's the theory. Again, I've never done it on acetate and rarely done it at all. But, um, you know, on our success so far, that's not even been opened. That one look not even never been opened. That one again is an Art Deco acrylic paint, berry red. And that one's just a bright yellow. That one has been opened in the past, I think. So we need a good bit of yellow. And we need to open the red. Get 
some red going on. Put a bit of both down and we'll do 50-50 and then we'll see where we're at. And then we're just going to get a sponge, dabble into all of them uh, and hopefully we should get some uh, different tones, tints, hints, shades and everything going on. Right, there we go, that's a bit of that and we're just going to go into it from the reverse again as, as we know we're doing everything on the reverse and we're just going to go all the way over it uh, and see where we're at, see what transpires. If you like your gothic or you like your dark or you like your fantasy I think this is probably right up your street. Are you listening Tommy and Kyung? There we go, look, never put enough paint down. It's because I'm so miserly, that's what it is. Bit more yellow, bit more red. Get that dabbed into there, get back over here. This is Miss P's katana again, just hold it in place. Again, we're going over the back of the decoupage because hopefully, um, you know, some of that red tint, orange tint, yellow tint may show through uh, the, the rice paper, even though it's got decoupage medium and black already on it. Uh, hopefully, some of it may show through and all adds to the overall effect, gives it a sort of unification, shall we say. Right, so we'll do that, we'll turn it over, see what we look like, uh, and if we need more, we can give it more. It's come out more red than anything, but um, that's fine. Let's have a look from the other side. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. Is that not the very, very thing. I'm going to put that down again. That was a quick teaser. So I'm just going to just pause for a little while, let that dry, we'll turn it over, put it on the light box and see whether we're pleased with the results. But I, I, I'm ever hopeful uh, that we will be. So I'll see you again in two seconds of your life and probably about 15 minutes of mine. That was a short time, wasn't it? But it was really only about 30 seconds in mine because I've decided it's it's a bit red and what I'm going to do is get some more yellow and just come over the back in yellow and perhaps try and lighten it up in some areas. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do and I thought I'd better restart it and show you me putting it on so it doesn't look totally different when you come back. Uh, so I'm just going through with a bit of pure yellow uh, and just putting it in some areas. Obviously it's going to look more yellow on the back, but that won't necessarily translate through to the front, but it might just lighten it up a bit. Uh, that's the theory, and I thought I'd better show you. Again, too mean with the paint. Now it's looking very yellow on the back, but of course, um, because we're working on the reverse, it, it won't look that yellow from the front. Uh, it'll probably still look quite red, but hopefully a little more of that yellow uh, might show through and give us some more wonderful colours. So I'm going to pause you again there, and this time it will be 15 minutes of my life and about two seconds of yours. Welcome back. That was... Uh, Ooh, probably about 10-15 minutes. I give it a quick blast with a hairdryer, as in the craft gun. <laughs> I wouldn't use it for your hair. Don't do it. Um, and now we'll go and see what it actually looks like on the other side. It's certainly more than touch dry, so we can turn it over. You're ready for the big reveal. Ooh, right way up. There we go. That's it. And as we come nearer, 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 
you'll start to see you can see the yellow how the yellows come through uh, with the red so it doesn't totally red it out and look at the the bits where are we there you can see it's coming through where the reds come through showing behind the decoupage even though it had a layer of uh, black paint on first uh, and the crackle look at that as it's come round it's almost followed the line of the decoupage and down there where we've got, we've got the smaller crackles I and mean, if that doesn't look like some lava flow I don't know what does and even that um, silver leaf now is really sort of playing its part there we go let's take that away let's bring the light board back in I don't think you're going to see much more with that but I'll do it anyway and there we are that's my version of some dark gothic horror novel or the Lord of the Rings my precious that sort of thing uh, and there we go that's it that was our little experimentation uh, to go alongside our uh, slightly more prettier rendition shows you the range of things that are possible all backed on acetate so this shine, side is nice and shiny smooth uh, again you can back that uh, you could back that with white or cream card or any color card you liked and use this as a journaling card uh, you could affix it on the front page of a book or you could just frame it up and admire handiwork I'm really really pleased with the way that uh, crackle glaze came out uh, and I'm really pleased with the paint effect we managed to get uh, as you can see there you know with the yellow and Ooh, you'd pay a lot of money to get that effect on something wouldn't you so there we go thank you for joining me next time I have uh, some sort of brainwave I'll be more than willing to share it with you uh, but in the meantime Miss P will be back tomorrow with day 18 of the September daily uh, for those that aren't already in the uh, the Facebook group you pop along to Miss Paintlot's Facebook group called uh, Miss Pentelot's Junk Journal Group. Uh, there's links below the, below the video uh, and if you'd have a go I'd be delighted to see it so if you could post a picture in that group that would be fantastic. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Take care out there. Bye for now.